All right, so it's time that we talk masteries inside of Raid Shadow Legends. This is an important one, guys, because if you saw yesterday's video, we decided to spend 800 gems on Bad L. Bad L now is masteried out, and he's going to be a soloing beast and a healing monster inside of Raid Shadow Legends. This is something that I'm quite excited about. Something else that I'm excited about is all of you that decide to download Raid using my QR code or my link in the description. Again, guys, this does directly support my channel. I appreciate all of you that go that extra mile just to support me and keep this Raid journey going. Enough of that, though. Although it is quite exciting. You do get Rector Drath and all that stuff, too, which is quite nice. But I decided, since all of the champions that you see farming Minotaur right now are uh, unmasteried, but partially masteried, well, I figured that this is what I was going to spend my day doing. Autoing all day long. This has been my day in raid. We haven't done dailies. We haven't done any of that stuff. We've been doing this all day long. Now, why did I choose to do this with Geomancer, with Armands, Rathalos, we also have Ursula, and we have Tyrant. Why them? Well, first things first, I had over 4,000 gems, and I was sitting on approximately 1,000 energy. And I realized that I could get this done with about, because based on all of the masteries that we had at one point in time, we had, we had all these champions probably, you know, we had them silver mastered out and green mastered out, but most of them needed the majority of red scrolls for masteries. I wasn't going to spend 800 gems for all the masteries when they already had all the silvers and all the greens already because I had already invested energy into that. It would have been a bad investment. So it was wiser, smarter for me to take all of those gems that I had and spend approximately 1,670 of them to buy approximately, what was it, 50 energy refills or something to get us there. We don't know if that's exact number, but it is very, very close to what I'm going to need to have these guys fully masteried. Now, as I said, you need 950 masteries. Tyrant's almost there. He's got like almost 900, I think he's got like 940 or something like that right now. The others aren't far behind. I think the one that's the furthest away is Armand's with like 550 of those red scrolls. So we're seeing some really great progress here. And once the masteries are done, well then it's gonna just be Team Crush. We got Kale full masteried. We got Bad L full masteried. And then we're going to get five of our other primary champions fully masteried out. Now, the question is, is it worth doing this? Is it worth it for me on a champion that doesn't have anything in them yet? The reason that these five were being masteried right now is because I already started that journey. And for the investment purposes of it, it would be smarter for me to spend my gems on energy to get them here versus spending my gems on masteries when a bunch of them were already done. I'm sure that makes very clear sense. So let's say I get a new champion tomorrow, a new legendary champion. Do I need masteries right away on that champion? Do I want to spend 800 gems on masteries or do I want to grind masteries? They say in buying the energy that it costs, for these masteries from zero, it's approximately, I think it was 630 gems. Do I want to spend the 630 and invest the time into the auto battles for getting them there? Or do I want to just buy them for 800 gems? And I think this matters one based on, do you have the gear already? And are, do you have a spot for this new champion on your team? Should you slow grind it, get their experience up, get the gear you need, and then worry about getting masteries on the champion because maybe the champion is not one that's going to be in your starting lineup. Maybe it's not in your clan boss. Maybe it's not in your Hydra team. Maybe you don't actually need the champion. So if you don't need the champion you unlock, no matter how great they are, maybe it's one of the best champions, but they don't fit into your lineup in some way, I would say being a great champion, you're going to want to kit them out and you're going to want to get those masteries on them, but it doesn't need to be instantaneous. It could be more of a timely, slow grind. So for that reason, I would then spend my energy and run masteries like we're doing right here. Or, and that doesn't even have to mean spending gems, by the way. 
It could mean spending energy that we get organically from the game, doing it absolutely for free over time. Or if you can't wait, if you need them right away, definitely go get the 800 gems and spend them on here. I buy the daily gem pack inside of the game and that daily gem pack is between 200 and 50 gems every single day that are just thrown on my account. So I was starting this out with around 4,000 gems, a little bit more, and I'm gonna end having spent around 1,600 of them. So I'm gonna still have about 2,500 gems, maybe a little bit less than that. And that's okay, it's still a good number of gems. It's a good nest egg. And with that though, the, the turnaround here is I'm gonna have all these champions mastered out. They're all gonna be at some of their fullest and finest potential. Now, of course, I could build them out better. I can get better gear on them. That's gonna be progress that happens over time inside of the game. But you know what? That's the grind of Raid. That's what I love about Raid. The grind, it brings me back to when I played Clash of Clans back in the day. If you played Clash, first of all, let me know. If you were a Clasher, and remember me from when I covered Clash of Clans for years on my Echo Gaming channel, let me know. That would actually be cool to see. But back then, the wall grind. Everyone complained about how difficult it was to grind walls inside of the game. Well, now I'll tell you, this grind, it doesn't bother me. I never minded the wall grind in Raid. Never. I was like, all right, we got to grind a thousand pieces of wall. It's going to take us three months. It's part of the game. It's part of the grind. And I enjoyed that. Maybe I'm in the minority, but I'm someone that has the patience to do this kind of stuff because I don't need that instant success. I don't need that instant uh, glory. I mean, come on guys, I'm starting a five-year-old game. This is now my what, fourth month? Three, six, nine, 12. Yeah, about my fourth month. There's no way I'm catching up to someone like an Ash Raid. It's not gonna happen, but you know what? I don't need to, to enjoy it. So I can enjoy the grind. This is what the game's about, about building teams, about grinding teams up. Now, one nice opportunity that I see in grinding Minotaur with a new champion that you finally get to six stars, or maybe you just have him at five still. Maybe it's a legendary right out of the box and you're starting him out. The cool thing about Minotaur is you can gain experience from it as well. So if I wanted to grind masteries on my brand new champion, I could throw one of my strongest champions in lead that's already mastered out. Let's say Rathalos, for example. Rathalos is in there. Let's say he's fully mastered out. He's not going to get any scrolls. All the scrolls will then be going to the champion that is following him, that he's carrying through the Minotaur run. And in doing this, it's going to cost approximately 630 gems worth of energy, or organically I can do it without any gems and just wait until the energy comes. But the cool thing about this is you're double dipping on the experience. You're one, running a champion through that doesn't have the experience. So the champion is gaining the experience as you go, especially if you have two times XP on it. And you could get that through the five star version and through the six star version. So the energy that you're spending, you could actually be spending it to get XP on the champion and to grind scrolls in the champion. If we want to double dip even more, we'll call it triple dip. Triple dipping, you can get four new champions, four of them, have your lead champion fully mastered out in lead and get four new champions that all need experience and that all need masteries and you could run them all through together. Triple dipping, baby. Now, you're getting that double XP benefit for all of them at that point in time. Do you need to be patient? Yep. Do you need a lot of energy? Yes, you do. Do you need a lot of time? Sure, you may. But what's the rush, man? Sometimes people look at my account and they say, Echo, you play Raid every day. How come you haven't progressed further? And you know why? First of all, I've pulled the shards that I've pulled and I've acquired the champions that I've acquired. I can't help anything there, except for if I go buy more shards, which I think I'm gonna do soon. I'm kind of in the mood. And unless if I get the champions that I need to progress. But I'm investing over time in the champions that I think are gonna be best for me overall inside of Raid Shadow Legends. That's the goal here. And that's what I enjoy doing as a player. Raid is a community game, but the gameplay is very solo for the most part. Live arena, a little bit different. Arena, even a little bit different. But when you're grinding campaign and you're doing dungeons, you're essentially grinding your account. Masteries is another version of that. And that grind is what makes the game fun for me. 
being able to think about how do I want to build out this champion so that I could dominate and just take down this particular boss because that's the sector of the game where I want that champion to stay and to lie and to dominate. That's what I enjoy from the game. So I think I did a decent breakdown here while giving you some of my thoughts in the game as well as to how masteries are best done. 800 gems, instant success. You still got to grind the energy unless you use Bruce. Or you could take your time, use the experience you gain from the mastery grind, and use the energy that you either get or spend with less gems. Remember, 600 and change worth of gems. So you'd essentially be saving yourself 170 gems, but you're going to have to put a lot of time into doing these mastery grinds. It's up to you whether you think it's worth it or whether it's not. Again, guys, I want to remind you to support this channel. Feel bad for me. I've been grinding all day. Download the game using my QR code. And in every single video, I have a link in the description which supports my channel. Right now, you get Rector Draft. We have the weekend coming up. We have our stream highlight coming on Monday. And I want to let all of you know that every single Wednesday, we go live right here on the channel. And in those live streams, we have a ton of fun. It's literally a community event. Hope to see you guys there this coming Wednesday. Set your alarm, set an alert. Usually it's around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, and we play Raid, doing whatever is the most optimal for us to do at that point in time. And the community we have is amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you from the community. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, for downloading the game using my link, and for just being here watching. Another funny note here is most people aren't subscribed that watch. So subscribe so you don't miss out. We'll see you back here tomorrow.